Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is to show you how to load an expansion pack into your Genos. Um, the current operating system for the Genos, the firmware, is 2.13, so you need to make sure that your Genos firmware is up to date. Also, the latest expansion manager version as of today, which is the what is it today? The 15th of April 23 is 2.9. So make sure your expansion manager is up to date. Once you've created your pack using expansion manager 2.9, go to menu on your main keyboard over here, press menu, then on the screen, go to menu two, and then you want expansion at the bottom of the page. Tap expansion and choose pack installation. Okay, so here's my pack I've created in Expansion Manager. So all I simply do is press it and it will ask if I want to install. Click OK. Then it's going to ask if I'm happy for the keyboard to wipe the memory. So anything that's in here will be wiped off and then the pack will reinstall from scratch. So one word of warning, if you bought a keyboard and you've never bought the packs themselves that are in the keyboard, so maybe maybe you bought a second-hand Genos, and somebody has paid for some packs, and they're installed in the instrument. Unless you have them on a USB stick, I would advise that you stop at this point and find out. Because if you would go ahead and install this pack now, it will wipe everything that's in your expansion memory in your instrument. So double check to make sure that you've got a backup on a USB stick and you've got the original software. I'm not asking you to have a, um, a pack like this. You need to have the very original software that you used to load into Expansion Manager. I'm not telling you you need a pack. I'm telling you you need the original software. In this case, I'm happy to do this, so I'm going to tap OK. And then it says OK to start installing. And there we go. So now, as you can see on the screen, it says it's formatting. So it's actually going to wipe my Genos blank for expansion sounds and then reinstall the pack. Yeah, I suppose it's a kind of way of the keyboard not having bits and bobs scattered all over the place, which will eventually deplete the ability to load samples. Because obviously, as you know with a PC, if you install a program, when you delete it, it can leave fragments of this, that, and the other all over the computer. So this is probably, well, I would imagine this is why they do this, is, is to make sure that everything is wiped off and we're starting with a completely blank slate. Now, as you can see on the screen now, it's saying executing, which is a bit of a harsh thing to say. It could have simply said loading, but there you go. That's the, uh, the Japanese for you. Um, so we're going to wait now. This bar on the bottom of the screen will turn green and start to move across as things progress so i'm going to pause the video um, and then i'll come back in a second i'm going to make a cup of tea because this will take 20 minutes at least so i'm going to put the kettle on and i'll be back to you as the bar progresses so i'll see you in a moment well it's nearly installed it's getting there if you can see the green bar this is what i was explaining earlier the bar will move from left to right once it's completed and then once it's completed, it will give you a message on the screen just to say it's it's done. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes because it needs a couple more minutes just before it gets to the end. And then I'll show you what to do next. Right. Well, here we are. Look, here's the message. We've got to the end of the bar and it says installation has been completed. The instrument will be restarted. So all I need to do is click OK. So the screen will go blank now because obviously it's doing nothing. And we will have a signal in a moment when the Genos reboots and powers back up again. So give it a second. Just take a little bit of time. Doopy 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. So this is how long it takes for the Genos to boot up anyway. So it's the usual. Genos. But let's change the screen so bit more interesting there you go and we're back we now have our pack installed so now if i how do i get to my pack or my sounds well depending on what you've installed if you've installed styles 
you will simply choose the style bar or if you're looking for a new sound tap right one and then on the screen you can go to user and then on the left hand side you're looking for expansion press expansion and this will call up all of the packs that I've installed so for example as it stands at the moment if I go into Genos v 2.0 superior pack I've now got all my voices that I've got, got in this pack. Some lovely stuff in here. Classic. <gasps> That's on that button over here. Uh, and then we've got things like EDM dance bass. And there's pages of them. And if I want to go to a different pack, all I do in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I click that little up arrow. And I can pick a different pack. So I've got Kenny G's soprano sax. That sort of thing. Or if I go to a different pack, I want to go, for example, Epic Strings 1. Sound stage. And yeah, this is where you call your pack up. So they go back up to the list and you see all those little folders, and these are all the packs. So if I wanted to pick um, vintage drawbar. <laughs> sort of thing Got Hammond percussion that sort of thing so if your pack comes with styles on the main screen press the style orange star bar this is the easy way to get to the, the, the file then go to user expansion on the screen and then pick the pack that's got styles in it. So, for example, I know Entertainer 2016 has. And uh, highlight the style, and away you go. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Uh, disco mix, 80s disco. So, funky little rhythm. Uh, okay, so this is how you do it, and that's how you've done it. My, my pack is all now loaded. I can take the USB stick out, because I never need to do that again. Um, when I turn the keyboard off, everything is there at the touch of a button. Uh, and that's how you load a pack. Um, any questions, let me know. One question that I do get frequently, and it's a mistake by so many people, is when you're creating the pack in Expansion Manager, you have... When it comes to the file save section, there's a little drop box and it'll say CPI or QPI. So you'll have a quick, obviously for the Q, 
or the C. Always use the C. Never use the quick because it doesn't seem to load. Uh, it's a common problem. Um, so go for the C, P, I. You'll have no problems whatsoever. Okay, until next time, thank you very much for watching this. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe or give it a thumbs up, or preferably both. Um, and then until next time, take care.